Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to another close-up review. Uh, this time it's the Orbs cards and these are from Diana Cooper. She was the one I have the Angels of Light, I have her Ascension cards. So I pretty much bought these sight unseen and I've had these for quite a while. What's really strange is just right now I was like, let me do a close-up review and I was looking around to see what decks I haven't done one of. And all of a sudden I saw these orbs cards. I have to tell you one thing before I do this close-up review. For those of you on my channel, I know that just this morning I posted that universal love healing message, the power of you, that spirit message that I could barely talk through because it was so powerful. Okay, when I took out, I already took out the booklet. This, this deck does come with a booklet where you can look up. They're pictures of orbs and they represent archangels and angels and you go in here and we'll give a brief description of each card. Um, at the end, I'll pull some cards for you. But what struck me was, as I was flipping to see um, what kind of meanings there were in the book and refreshing myself, literally here it says card number eight specifically. Like it's just describing the cards the, and the instructions how to use the deck, choosing a card, everything else, but specifically, not just for the card definition, but just says specifically, this is literally the day I posted that universal healing love message, the power of you on my channel. That is like the most important message I've ever posted. And here it says card number 28, a card to heal the earth. You can't make this up. And it says while holding the intention to bring healing to the world as fundamental changes, financial, ecological, you know, mind you, this was before the virus. You can choose any card. However, working with this particular card will particularly help the potency of your intention. And I just want to show you, for example, just look at, I'll show you all the cards, but look at this backs of the cards. They're square cards and not gilded, but then number 28, and I'll show you all the cards, but I just have to, the timing of this is just so unbelievable that the card that they're saying number 28 to look at to heal the earth right now is this orb. So just focus in on this orb and it's like all the archangels together in this orb. It's like every ascended master, it's all together in this one orb. So concentrate on this one orb to bring healing to the earth. I can't even believe it was pointed out like that literally on the day when I posted that message. Um, but getting back to the cards, but I just had to start with that because just setting up right now, that blew my mind. I had to share that. So going back to this, this is the orbs cards. And if you haven't seen my spirit message, you'll understand what I'm talking about. It's the universal love, healing, and the power of you. It was a spirit message I just posted this morning on my channel. And it was um, one of the strongest messages I've gotten for this particular time right now. And here we have the orbs cards. So Again, I mean, I got the Angels of Light. She, she's written, Diana Cooper has written countless books. I have the Angels of Light, and I have the Ascension cards. She also has Keys to the Universe, countless CDs, books, and all of that. These cards, they're square cards, and they will have pictures, literally, pictures of orbs, 44 pictures, photographs of orbs. And so you can use them however you want. You can get the energy right from the orb itself. On the bottom, she'll say what the orb is, is, so we have Archangel, Raquel, and Zeldafon. It's all orbs. On the side here is numbered, and this is a pic photograph of an orb, and then she puts down, and on the bottom it will say photo, whoever, the, whoever took the photo. A lot of them is Diana Cooper herself, and what the orb is. So they're all like that. So you can pull, you can meditate with a card, to get guidance and wisdom from the actual card or you can use for an oracle reading and in the little booklet that comes here there's a brief message but you can also just really stare at the message and see what you feel that you're getting so each card is a picture of an orb and orb and then down here it will say what it is and they're just really interesting. I bought these sight unseen. I mean, I didn't see any pictures of the deck. I just took it that I had several of her decks. And I just thought it would be just the subject matter was really interesting. I just thought it was really cool. And at the end, I'll pull a couple of cards for us right now. But I love this. The Violet Flame, I think. Yeah, Violet Flame. 
It's really interesting, Archangel Metatron. Angel with angel in love. That's I love this one. I just find them really interesting. You could just lose yourself in them a little bit. I love this one. The rainbow ones with all the arc, so many archangels, and this one has combination Mother Mary, Paul the Venetian, Raphael, Gabriel, Metatron. Just beautiful. They're beautiful pictures. The angel of animals with an angel of love. Archangels Raphael. There's another an angel of love with archangels. Nature energy with angels of love. Archangels Michael. And nature is right here. It's really it's really interesting. I didn't know what to expect to be honest. Four angels of love. And on the bottom it will say who photographed it. Nature spirit. Very cool. Oh, I love this. Archangel Michael and Uriel. And this is the one for the healing of the earth. The special card. I just, I really couldn't believe that there was a special card in this deck when I just posted that spirit message. It was really pretty cool. This is really beautiful. I love it when it's a medley, when they're saying it's a, an orb of a medley. It has those rainbow colors. Look at how gorgeous this one is. I just want to sit and meditate on it. I love this one. Oh, look at this one. Mother Mary. Archangel Metatron. A bean. I just have never seen a deck like this before. Here's another orb. Don't know how these orb pictures were taken. That's what I was trying to find information before, how I found that deck. Before I turned on the camera, I was trying to figure out, <clears throat> like, how did they take these photographs? I was trying to get, like, more technical information, to be honest. Um, but the book seemed to, that's where I found out it just says, can I take orb photographs? It says, yes, just open your heart. Think about the angels or elementals, asking them to come into your photograph. You may be surprised. But um, sometimes, I mean, I've seen little orbs of light, but I've, I've never seen anything like this that's captured. So that's why I was going into this actual booklet, and that's when I stumbled on hold that twenty-eight number 28 card, a special for healing the earth which I thought was so uncanny. But the reason why I went in there was I was wondering how do they actually capture this, um, you know, massive orbs. I've never seen huge, massive orbs. I've only seen little, little ones. We have this one, Angel of Metatron. This one. This one. It's very cool. I just want to stare at them. So you can use this deck for many purposes. I mean, it's just really interesting. And you could just meditate with the card and see what you get for them. Or you can use it as an oracle deck, which is what I'm about to do. So let's see what orbs have messages for us right now. For anyone who finds this video, let's tune in. But I was wondering how they captured such great orbs. If you've ever seen huge, hum humongous orbs, please leave in the comments. I'd be so curious. Or if you've ever taken pictures of huge, very huge orbs yourself, been able to capture that on film, I'd love to hear about that. For the most part, the only thing I've ever seen is when you take a picture almost by accident, like you're taking a picture of friends and family, and you see like a little orb around, but nothing like what's in these pictures. 
Um, yeah, so let me know if you have. So let's see. What are the orbs? What are the archangels? What would like to come through as energy for us right now? With everything that's going on, what would you like to come through? Let's see. Orbs, orbs, orbs. What would you like to come through for us? Oh, wow. We got the... Oh, my gosh. We got the ones that I love. I love when it's a mixture. Archangel Uriel, Michael, Metatron, Gabriel, Raphael, Serapis Bay, Paul the Venetian, Lord Maitreya, Mother Mary, and Spirits. Of course, they're coming through all of them. Archangel Jophiel, Metatron, Gabriel, and Michael with Lady Nada, of course. And then we also have Archangels Raphael and Michael with Isis. Wow, I love these orbs. They're really, really beautiful. I just, I, I wish, I wish there was more information on the actual picture itself, other than giving credit to the photo. Like, where was it taken? How was it taken? You know, that's what led me to go into the the guidebook to see. So anyway, so let's start. Okay, so let's go into. You look it up on the number. So let's see, Archangels Raphael and Michael with Isis. This orb brings you the wisdom of crystal healing from golden Atlantis. It is opening you up to ancient memories and gifts which are latent within you. Your guidance today is to remember who you are and send healing to others today. Was that the message or what? Remember who you are and send healing to others today. We're all being called to do that right now. Oh my gosh. Yes, your guidance today is to remember who you are and send healing to others today. Listen, just this morning, I mean, I posted that universal love healing message to the power of you. Anyone who's on my channel catching these kind of videos, you have enormous power right now. Send loving energy, healing, love, truth out in the universe. What you say and do and feel and everything, it's being, it's a landing. It's a landing. So it says it brings you the wisdom of crystal healing from golden Atlantis. It is opening you up to ancient memories and gifts which have been latent within you. And remember they kept on saying tapping into your DNA. We're all rising up now. Your guidance today is to remember who you are and send that healing to others. So that's really coming through. So then the next one. All right, let's do this one. Number seven. And then we'll go to the rainbow one. No, actually, okay, let's go to 13. Okay. <laughs> They like telling me which one. Okay, 13. I love this rainbow. I love the rainbow one. So again, this was like everyone, Archangels, Uriel, Michael, Metatron, Gabriel, Raphael, Serapis Bay, Paul the Venetian. Okay, this one, Mother Mary and Spirits. Wow, this orb gives you a boost on your ascension pathway. Ask these Archangels to enfold you and the Masters to support you so that you receive their light and protection. Your guidance is to accept their energy and live at a fifth dimensional level. Yep, that's what we're receiving. Your guidance is to accept all their energy and live at a fifth dimensional level. Yeah, it's giving us a boost in the ascension right now. Ask these archangels to enfold you, ask the masters to support you, so that you receive their light and protection. Your guidance is to accept the energy and live at a fifth dimensional level. Beautiful. Okay. So now the last one. I just like looking at the orbs. <laughs> the orbs are beautiful. Okay, seven. This is Archangel Jophiel, Metatron, Gabriel, Michael with Lady Nada. This orb helps to develop your intuition and the higher psychic and spiritual gifts. Lady Nada is the goddess of wisdom, and Archangel Jophiel is the angel of wisdom. So this card guides you to listen to your inner voice and follow it. Metatron is helping you to make higher choices in your life. Your happiness depends on your ability to go with the flow and trust your heart. So they're saying send healing love out. Accept the energy of the archangels and pour that healing love out is what I'm getting. And here we have literally that use your intuition and go with the flow and trust your heart. 
Wow, your happiness depends on this ability to go with the flow and trust your heart. Metatron is literally helping you to make higher choices in your life right now. So we're, we're, we have all this archangel energy being downpoured to us. Use it to go forward. Trust your intuition and your heart with what you're getting and use it to pour out healing to the earth right now. And let's see if we can get any more. <laughs> I, love, I like these. You get into it. But you also can amuse yourself just staring at the orbs. I just find this interesting. I find it really interesting. Then we have Archangels Michael, Uriel, Unicorn, and El Mora. Moria. Okay. It is number five. Number five, number five, number five. Um, this one, this orb gives you courage, healing, and support on your ascension pathway. This special card will help you link to the wisdom of the Egyptians, for they were connected to the cosmos through the pyramids. Your guidance is to use your passion and strength to discover this ancient wisdom, bring forward esoteric knowledge and teach it to others. Yep, it's time to step up and step forward. Um, this is really beautiful what's coming through. I kind of want to keep going. Is that really bad? Let's see, let's just get one more and then I'll, 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 I'll say no. <laughs> but it's pouring up. We have such huge archangel backing. Listen to your intuition and your guidance. Um, trust your intuition, then send healing energy out into the world. You're really being called on to do that. Your energy matters right now. You have real archangel support right now. Divine wisdom access. Step forward. Let's see. There are other orbs. Are there any other orbs? Are there any other orbs? Yep. One more. Okay. <gasps> Archangels Mallory, Zadkiel, and Mario. Look how gorgeous this orb is. The couple in there. That is so gorgeous. Just want to stare at them for a little bit. Okay. So this one is um okay. Oh eight. Hold on. Okay, eight. Oh my gosh. Receive joy vitality, and a desire to ascend. This card bathes you in the combined energy of these archangels and reminds you that joy and vitality come from healthy living, positive thoughts, and spiritual practice. Your guidance is to live in the fifth dimension today, right where you are. So we're in the fifth dimension. You're living in the fifth dimension. You are completely being showered with Archangel's support, guidance, assistance. You're pouring out healing into the universe. You're tapped into the wisdom. They want you to step up and step forward um, and rise up with all you are and bathe in fifth dimension. Oh my gosh. I feel like we, we all went up a notch in ascension. Um, and they're completely here and supporting us with that. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so here are our orbs. This is the backs of the cards. They're really pretty. I'm sorry, I'm like, I'm kind of, I'm really lost in the orbs that I'm barely talking, but hopefully you're still losing yourself in the orbs too. You kind of just go in another world, literally. You're, um, yeah, and of course, you know, I'm doing this very quickly, but if you have this deck, you're going to want to sit with this card you're going to want to be tapping into the archangels. You're going to want to be really picking up the energy of what that really means to feel that you've ascended here, that you're stepping up, going forward, that you're tapping into that wisdom, that you're really showering out healing into the earth and the world, pouring out healing to everyone, and you have backing and assistance from the archangels. I mean, you're really going to, oh, you like go in. It almost looks like there's a little figure in there. I really think you just want to lose yourself in the artwork a little bit. I mean, look at that. You really just want to tap into the energy of it and, um, yeah, and see what it brings up for you. But 
I really like that you can use it. You can pull a couple of cards. You can even pull a couple of cards for you intentionally and sit with one of the cards, you know, sit with the cards. Or you can do like just what I just did and see what's resonating with your energy to come out and give you support at this time. But this is pretty much in line with what's happening right now, regardless. I mean, we're all ascending right now. We're all rising to the occasion, especially of late. And everybody is being told to send healing energy out. Keep It's so important to keep your spirit up. Keep positive. Keep being the light for yourself and others during this time. Because it's helping with the overall energy of the world. You're getting such divine guidance, support, assistance for this. Um, with your wisdom going forth and they want you to step forward with that and here it's saying you're literally in the fifth dimension right here uh, and that's where we are because we're living one foot in the physical one in the spiritual and we've grounded higher love here all right so this has been the orbs which is square cards and 44 pictures oh look at the last one i love this one archangel Shemuel and an angel of love. All right, wait, we got to look this last one up. Sorry. <laughs> it's so late. But you know what? You start getting into it. Okay, so the very last one, bottom of the deck. This aura brings love and joy and a desire to share this with others. Yeah, and that's what this was all about, actually. This aura brings love and joy and a desire to share this with others, your guidance, as you meditate with this orb is to visualize your heart center filling with love and feel it becoming warm and radiant. Then when you smile at others, you will touch them at a heart level. You will enfold them in unconditional love. Oops. Yep. Archangel Chemuel's light and you will then help spread this to the world. Yes. Well, that is the message, right? We're all coming from the heart space. Let your heart just be filled up and I'll pour that to others. This orb is to bring you love and joy and a desire to share this with the world. Your guidance is to meditate on this. Let your heart center fill with love and let it become warm and radiant. Yes. And that's what they were saying. That's what we need to outpour to the world. Our energy matters right now. Fill your heart and let it radiate. And then you're just going to engulf everyone in unconditional love. And you will then help to spread this to the world. So let your heart fill up with this. This is literally the message of the night. I know there was a lot of other cards, but let love just fill your heart and pour that out into the world because that's what the world needs right now. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, so this has been the orbs. I'm going to leave this right here. This has been the orbs. This is the backs of the cards. This was... The little booklet that comes with it that you can go in here and it will say like Archangel Michael. Num you look it up number six and it will give you a really quick description. Just a couple of sentences. But you can look at the orbs. I mean, you could see you could really lose yourself in this. I found it fascinating. I mean, I did buy this sight unseen. So I'm just going through the cards the first time with you. I did peek in again like in that little booklet because I was like how did they capture these orbs I was really fascinated with that um yeah so if you yourself has have seen any kind of orbs like that I'd be really curious to hear about that I've only seen you know occasionally like maybe a little orb like the size of that by accident in a photograph I've never seen enormous beautiful orbs like that anyway this has been the orbs close-up review for Diana Cooper's deck and Kathy Crosswell, and she is the same one you've seen the other decks on my channel, the Angels of Light, the Keys to the Universe, the Ascension decks. So that's why I went ahead and bought this Sight Unseen. So I like these cards, and I'm so glad I pulled it out tonight because, again, it's right on target, sending love and good energy out into the world right now. It's really important. You're, you're very powerful at this time, and the cards that came out in the reading just verify that and confirm that all over again. So let your heart fill up with love and pour it out to the universe. Take care. Bye-bye.